everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Amy and welcome to my YouTube channel. I would love it if you would stick around, go down below and subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up. I just want to say before I get into the video that I am absolutely mind blown. So on the 1st of January 2021, I sat down, I wrote my goals for 2020, 2021. And one of my goals was to hit 500 subscribers by my birthday. My birthday is May the 27th and my subscribers have just got a bit mad at the moment. I'm not that far away at all from 500 subscribers. So if you could be one of those people that helped me reach 500 subscribers, it would honestly mean the world to me. But enough of that cringy stuff and let's just get into the video. As you can tell, I'm barefaced. I'm doing an updated everyday makeup routine. I've not done one in about a year or so. I've changed a few products. I've changed a few techniques. If I look here, I've got a little mirror there. So if I'm looking there, that's why. Let's just get into the video. I've got a nice glass of Coke today rather than a cup of tea. I feel like getting ready is more of a not a hot drink vibe because what happens I do is I'll make a hot drink to get ready with. And then I'm so engrossed in doing my makeup that I'll just forget about it. And then it's cold. I've also got the biggest bag of sweets. Leighton surprised me last night. I was just like in the bedroom, laid in bed. And he like knocked on the door and he was like, I've got a surprise for you. And he got these sweets dropped off. It's like um, a kilogram bag of pick a mix, basically. And these sweets are literally my favourite. I've still got this jar. I think I had this in one of my last makeup videos. I've still got the same jar with brushes in. There's quite a few different brushes. I got some new ones for Christmas. Um, and that's pretty much why my makeup routine changed. Forever, I've used a beauty blender, but not anymore. I'm more of a brush gal now. So let's just get into the video. I have moisturised already. But first of all, I just go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Taupe. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with my little matching brush. I've had this for like the longest time ever. It's probably a bit embarrassing now. I normally do my eyebrows off camera just because they're boring. Like who wants to see you do your eyebrows? Definitely should have just done my eyebrows off of camera. My glass of Coke's making the funniest noise ever. I might do what Jordan Lipscomb did and like cut off her eyebrows so she can make her. But if my face was like that, I would look so much more pretty. It's just not fair, is it? Also, at the moment, guys, are any of you getting this? I fake tan. I fake tanned last night. And I just don't feel tanned at all. Like, I feel like it just washes off. Honestly, I don't know if it's because, like, I've, there's no sun or what. But I'm just not tanning. I've changed fake tan three times in the last couple of months just because I thought I was maybe getting immune to it. I'm using Bondi Sands at the moment. Before that, I was using Filter by Molly May. And before that, I was using Saint Tropez. And every time... It just doesn't look good. I just look pale. This eyebrow here is so much nicer. If you're a new angel here, you wouldn't have heard this story. But basically, my eyebrows now are so much better than they were before. Basically, I think I was 16. I think I just started like college. And I cut my eyebrows off with kitchen scissors. I was trying to trim them. I didn't trim them, honey. I didn't. They were non-existent. I literally had these little lines. I've got an old video on my YouTube. Basically, I tried to make a YouTube channel in 2017. And that was like a week after I cut my eyebrows off. Maybe one day. I'm not promising this. I'm not promising this. But maybe one day I'll react to one of my old videos. There's two. And... Uh, I can't even watch them, it makes me cringe so much. And also, it's baffling because I was with Leighton in that video, those videos as well. They were nearly four years ago. And I can't believe he was with me when I looked like that. I might insert a picture from that video. They're obviously on private now, but I'm gonna have to. I'll, I'll insert a picture, hopefully, maybe, if I'm that good at technology, I'm not really. Obviously I know I've matured, but bloody hell. God, I can't believe I look like that. My hair was like yellow. I think I just don't know what I thought was pretty, but it wasn't that. At the time though, I'm pretty sure I thought I was like fucking sexy. And that will bloody well do. You know when you just get so used to doing your makeup in like a certain area? And that's honestly why I don't do makeup videos often because it's stressful AF. Anyways, we'll move. Right, so now I've still got this same old makeup bag from three years ago. Okay, so I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. 
and I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows a little bit with the same brush, just cleaned it a little bit. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm probably just going to skip this bit, it's a bit boring. And just like that, the eyebrows are carved out. Now we park the whole eyes there and I go on to skin. Now I'm going to be real with you. I'm just going to be using my Fit Me Maybelline foundation only because I honestly use this every day. However, if I'm going out or making an effort, I'll use my Luminous Silk Giorgio Mani. Let's just go in with Maybelline Fit Me. I love this foundation, it's so thin. I just hate thick matte foundations. So this one does me perfectly. In the colour 220 Natural Beige, I pop a good sized amount on the back of my hand. And now's where the makeup routine changes up a little bit. I go in with this brush. Zoeva 104 Buffer. I actually feel like a makeup guru when I say things like that. Like I know the name of the brush, the number. I think this is their vegan collection. I just preferred the brushes that they offered with the in the vegan range. Whereas the normal range, the brushes weren't like as good face brushes. I go in with this brush and I still put it on my finger first and then put it on my face. Um, but I literally just use a brush now to put my foundation on. I find you get a lot more coverage and you waste a lot less foundation because beauty blenders do make it look really smooth. However, I feel like they just drink the product so, so much. Like this foundation isn't even matching my neck. Whereas like when I used to fake tan, this would be like too light. Like, I don't know what's going on with my body. It just doesn't want to like accept any fake tan at the moment. So don't you worry, we're gonna drag it all down the neck. It's my dad's birthday tonight and he's coming around and making him some dinner. He is in our support bubble, so don't you guys worry. He is getting made some delicious dinner. Actually, he's bringing his own steaks, <laughs> poor sod. I just need to like get better at makeup. And another thing is, uh, does anyone, I used to love sitting and doing my makeup for like an hour. Now, when I start my makeup, I just wanna get it done as quick as possible. Like ASAP, slap that all, all that makeup on and get the F out of here. That's kind of how I feel about makeup now. We're going to go in now with the Maybelline Fit Me in 10 again. Um, I might go in with a bit of a lighter one as well, but for now, I'm just going to go in with this one. I've used this like same concealer for the longest time. I love it. I'm totally just looking like there, aren't I? Okay, let me show you the brush I use now. So I don't know if you're actually meant to use it for this, but like me and this brush get on quite well. So I use Face Shape Zoeva 110 and I just use this to blend out my concealer. I like it because it, again, like it looks so much more full coverage, but I'm not gonna lie. I just stopped using a beauty blender probably three weeks ago. And that's the first time I've not used a beauty blender in probably about four years. So I just literally buff this out I want to like buy some eyelashes again. I miss wearing eyelashes so much. I used to be addicted. Can like people just give me some fake tan tips, please? Because I'm getting stressed about it. I just want to look like a bronzed goddess. And at the moment I look like mayo flump mixed with, like if you guys know what a flump is, like that's how I feel at the moment. I just feel a bit rubbish, a bit fat. I like weigh the same as I did like a year ago when I was skinny, but, I think I might have lost some muscle and gained some fat because like I'm just a bit bigger in places I didn't used to be, my hips. Look how flawlessly that's blended out. I'm just obsessed with this brush. I like chatting with you guys while doing my makeup. Oh, I told myself I was gonna do that TikTok. You know the one that's like, boo, 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 boo. I'm so pretty and you like that. I was gonna make a TikTok. I've never like actually made like a proper TikTok. And I saw those last night. I was thinking I could do that. I could definitely do that. So I was gonna give it a go. Bloody forgot, didn't I? It's a bit late now. Half from bloody makeup. Oh, I'm just putting a bit of concealer on my eyes, by the way, because they are looking a bit tired. Honestly, this week, work has been absolutely mental. Obviously that's a good thing, but boy, have I been able to tell I'm knackered. Going in with this brush I've had for absolutely years. It's just a Real Techniques one. 
and my Laura Mercier translucent powder. During the week whilst I'm at work, I do use the Revolution translucent powder just because like, I'm not wasting this on work, but because it's the weekend, I want it to stay on a bit longer. This powder is just the bomb, like I love it. And I'm just gonna set under my eyes. Basically, I'm just setting everywhere I put concealer because I find that's where everything creases first. And I basically just hate being sticky. Like fake tanning last night, I was just laid in bed. That's the thing, like I hate being so sticky. So if I'm gonna fake tan and not even look brown, it's just a waste of time, a waste of discomfort. Like if anyone thinks tanning is comfortable, like give me some tips. I'm gonna go in with the Primer Foundation and Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Chai. I've been trying to find Toffee. Jordan Lipscomb always uses it, but I've never been able to find it in Primark. I've always just like found this one. But I'm just gonna go in and just draw on some like contour lines, forehead, cheekbones, I guess. Jaw, chin, under the lip. Same on the other side and down the nose. Now going in with this brush, which is Silk Finish 102. Um, these brushes, you're probably not even meant to use them with what I use them for, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna literally buff out all of the contour that I've just put on. And actually for work, like I don't do this either. I don't have time, like in the buzz when I've got up in the morning, like I'm just putting my makeup on as quick as possible. I miss out like quite a lot in the mornings. I have to be at work for eight, so I get up at like quarter past seven. Doesn't take me long to get to work. I still need to wrap up with my dad's presents. I don't know where Layton's put them. He's like put them somewhere. So then I can't see them. So then I haven't actually got round to wrapping them yet. To be fair, if I watched back my 2020 makeup routine, it would probably be the same as this. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that is all blended out now. So I'm going to go in with... I've not actually used this brush yet, but it says it's for powder, 106 powder brush. So I'm gonna powder my whole face with this cute little brush and let's see how it goes. It's quite flimsy. Oh my God. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's enough. I still, I'm not gonna lie, I use this brush for bronzer. I don't really know what brush you should use for bronzer. I don't know where I got this from either, but she's been in my life for quite a while. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Give me sun. Oh, let's not dye my hair orange today. I'm literally putting it on all those places that I contoured earlier, plus my neck. My nose. I'm gonna go back in with this contour stick. We're gonna put it on our eyes. You've probably all seen this brush before. It doesn't have any writing on it anymore. Basically a Morphe eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend in my eyeshadow. Well, this isn't eyeshadow, is it? But you get what I'm saying. And really bring it out. This is my favourite thing to do at the moment because it lifts everything up so much. P.S. guys, look at my roots. They're getting bad. You guys are going to see me looking awful soon. The hair extensions are going to have to come out. The tan doesn't work, the roots are growing, and the worst thing is my darling hairdresser is having a baby, which is obviously great news, but it means she can't do my hair. Even, we're in lockdown at the moment, but after lockdown, you know what, when this video goes up, we'll be in February, and she's due in February, and she probably would have had the baby. So she definitely won't be able to do my hair. Yeah, my roots are growing. It's just not a good look, is it really? If my tan would work, it'd be much appreciated. I don't really get this issue. Going back in with Give Me Sun and this brush. And I kind of am setting it, but I'm really gonna like try and bring it out. It, I just love that look at the moment. I keep doing it with pink, but obviously this is an everyday makeup look, so we're not gonna go with pink now, are we? If there's any makeup gurus watching this, just like, don't judge me. I'm just gonna have a sweet a minute. You know what I'm sad about? There's my favorite sweets right there. I did Google them. They're called Psycho Mice. And if you know, you know, but basically they look like a multicolored rat 
and there was one at the top of the bag and I was so excited I was like there's gonna be them all the way through I had one at the top of the bag and I don't think there's another one in this bag and I'm upset about it I was only googling them because I was gonna buy a whole box online look at those huh they're massive right back to business that one didn't taste great i just want some more lip fillers do i do i not it's a constant battle in my head whether i want lip fillers or not i didn't actually have them done that long ago not gonna lie i don't know what to do now so I, what i am gonna do this isn't an everyday thing but you know what it's my dad's birthday like you need to make an effort sis going with my absolutely disgusting beauty blender maybe this is part of the reason i started using a brush because this is disgusting Bit embarrassing anyway i'm gonna get some powder on this nice beauty blender and we're gonna we're gonna fake it till we make it with some nice jawline because i'll tell you now i definitely don't have a nice jawline Got bloody little sideburns now where do they come from and while she's baking we're gonna get this nice blush brush i like how they've made the blush brush pink are any of, any other of their brushes pink? Because I've only got orange ones. One pink one and it's for blusher. That's just, is that coincidence? I don't think so. And we're going to go in with this Milani Luminous. I'm trying to say the colour, it's not called Luminous. I don't know what colour it's in, okay guys? Just, just don't shout at me. I'm not sure. We're going to get some of this blusher and we're going to pop her on the cheeks. And I'm just going to quickly dust this off before it gets a bit intense. Oh, do you know what I did today, guys? You'll be so disappointed in me. So if you watched my Sheen test and makeup video, you'll see I had a breakdown because I like tried to wave my hair. It just looks rubbish. So my hair just has does this thing where she does like a couple of beachy waves of straighteners and then some like crimping just to like mix it up and make it look really beachy. So I thought, yeah, I'll give that a try today. You know, it might actually look good. So I did it, but I feel at first it looked beautiful. Honestly, it did. But I feel like the crimped bits just puff out so much and it looks just absolutely ugh, ugh, i don't even know i feel sorry for my boyfriend i honestly i do but yeah let's just carry on with um, my makeup routine this little brush always falls down it's this mac brush i don't know where i got it from but i just use it for my um highlighter this is the ofra highlighter mini one in rodeo drive i just use this for the longest time i just love it like it's really glowy without being like too powdery i don't know i just like work well with it so i've just always used it like when people like hop on trends i hop on the trends but i don't leave the trends so like this was like a trend like four years ago Honey, I'm still using it four years later. Like, I'm, I'm still thinking, like, yeah, this is a trend. I'm starting to look pretty now. My absolute holy grail. One time, me and Leighton went away for the weekend and I forgot my eyeshadow. So we popped into Boots. I picked up this. And you know what? I've used it probably every day since. Unless I don't wear makeup. But I absolutely bloody love this palette. And basically, what I'm going to do, we're reusing some brushes here, but that's all right. You just do you. I wouldn't judge you, so you don't judge me, please. So this is my eyeshadow brush. Here's the palette. It's in a bit of a state. Oh, I feel sorry for it. Don't know if they sell them anymore. I don't think they do. And I'm going to go in with maybe Sorry Not Sorry at the bottom. I'm basically going to try and create like a little bit of a wing. Hmm. <laughs> Looks bloody awful. Okay, let's just pretend that that didn't happen. What have I done? It's meant to be my everyday routine. Let me tell you, I don't do this every day. I'm just going to try and like maybe blend it down a little bit. Does she look cute? I don't know. I think all I've got left now is mascara to do. Is that all I've got left to do? Bloody ain't quit, didn't it? I'm not great at mascara. Huh. <laughs> when something like that happens, you just have to like compose yourself and like try and calm yourself down it's not the end of the world it's just a bit of mascara normally i let it dry and then it like comes off really easy anyways i'm not going to do much on the bottom because then it will bring my face down whereas i want it to lift the face 
My favourite way to do my lips is to make sure that they are a bit foundation -y because I've got really ugly colour like natural lips. So I usually just go over with the brush a little bit and I go in with my MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. Is anyone else's lips so dry at the moment? Mine are crusty, dusty, disgusting. And then I get the tiniest amount of concealer and I just blend it in. Like that, and then that's my makeup done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to go down below and subscribe. You're on the way to 500 subscribers. Also, give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next week. Um, but yeah, thanks guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.